It was the Northeast Conference regular season finale in New Britain, Connecticut, where Central Connecticut State knocked off Robert Morris 42 to 14. The Blue Devils, the NEC regular season champions, they get the automatic bid to the NCAA playoffs and the FCS schedule coming out tomorrow. They'll be waiting to find out who they'll play. Paul Dottino and Kevin Gilbride with you. We saw a sensational performance by the Blue Devils. Maybe not quite as clean as they wanted it to be, but nonetheless, Cameron Nash, their superstar, came through again, Kevin. 26 carries for 140 yards and three touchdowns. He also eclipsed the 1,000-yard plateau rushing for the season. The thing that I like about him is there's a consistency to him, despite the fact that Robert Morris was obviously keyed up to stopping him, particularly at the end when they were fighting for that 1,000 yards. This kid is just all heart. 180 pounds, all determination and toughness. You don't expect to see a guy of that nature, that size, that diminutive, to be able to deliver the kind of physical play that he does. He just impresses me every time I see him. And when they threw the ball, Jacob Dolagala became the all-time leading passing yardage leader in Central Connecticut state history over 5700 career yards he had three touchdown passes 11 of 24 for 182 yards it wasn't always pretty but he got it done you know the thing we've seen him since his freshman year so we've seen him come a long way and he just looks more and more accomplished and then when you can say a guy that threw three touchdown passes did not have a particularly good game that's a statement that this guy's pretty good and i think he is courtney rush caught a couple of touchdown passes including one of the flukiest ones you'd ever want to see Maybe the flukiest I've ever seen. It was it's scheduled to go to NC Walker. It got deflected up into the air. It looked like Heaven Price, the secondary cornerback, made the interception. Somehow it got bobbled up, wound up on his back. He's holding it one hand, but Courtney Rush pulled it away from him. So it was interesting to see which way it was going to be evaluated by the re replay booth because it could have gone either way, quite frankly. So Central Connecticut State finishes up with an eight-game winning streak. That sets an all-time program record. They go into the FCS playoffs as the NEC champs and an 8-3 and three overall mark. For Kevin Gilbride, I'm Paul Tatino. Thanks for joining us.